Hey guys, this is Fire and welcome to Spin Tires. This is a fun little simulator 4x4 bundu bashing kind of game, simulator thing. It's a lot of fun. This is it's free right now, it's a tech demo, but it's on Kickstarter for him to make a full game. And it's a whole load of fun. You should I should show you. There we go. It has brilliant physics, the modern stuff react brilliantly and such things. And there's this. What? What? Yes, your car is indeed a time machine. I'm stuck in the mud already. Okay, look, look, look how pretty it is. Oh, wrong side. Look at her. Oh, and it, I think it keeps all your tracks that you make. Well, for at least the session you're in currently. Okay, so let's put on those things and try to get out of here. <laughs> and we're out. That's that's brilliant. You can't argue. That's that's just brilliant. Okay, here we go. Let's speed up time. This is this is what I call my my mobile TARDIS, and nobody's driving it because you know magic and space time and such. So I'm going to stop time. No, <laughs> I'm going to stop time when it's day again. And stop. Where? Wait. And stop. Ah. There we go. See, I'm on this road now. The map is actually pretty huge. I didn't think it would be this big. It's it's great. I tell you, it's great. Okay. So I actually want to ride around a bit, and then I want to do a challenge. Like I want to do like a loop of the area without bumping into something or falling into the mud without being able to escape. I'll do the one route that's easiest that you can find easily like the main route I believe it is and we'll see how I do but this game is brilliant fun you should try it out and then fund it on Kickstarter or whatever the tech demo is entirely free and it's gigantic just don't get stuck in the trees that screws things up violently shall I demonstrate you want me to demonstrate okay I'll demonstrate how it screws things up horribly into the trees we go. See, this is like their version of an invisible wall. Okay, so let's go do the loop. Whoa! Okay, I want my frames per second back, and I'm not getting my frames per second back. Um, be right back. Okay, I'm back and my frames per second are back well as well. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go straight and around the loop through the river thingy and then I'll finish the loop. See if I can get back to where the truck is. If I can do that, I'll declare myself a winner. Fuck. <laughs> and I screwed it up already. Okay, turn on those two things. Get out of... Damn it. And I am stuck in the mud. Okay, reverse. Reverse. Forward. Okay, so what this is, is I basically failed already. There's no getting out of this. Wait, 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 there I'm g I go. Oh, I'm, g I'm going to get out, yes. I hope. Look at that deformation. <laughs> Oh, some of my fans will know where I'm stealing that line from. I like how I say I've got fans. And I'm out. Okay. Here we go. And up and over. Taking my little drive around the city. Or whatever. I'm not even going to try getting up there. Okay. Shall we do this in super time machine mode? Yes, we shall. Ooh, time machine mode is brilliant. And the light transitions are freaking screwing with my frames per second, so I'm going to stop that. Um, and wait for day. Ooh, that was horrible. Sorry about that. Ah, there we go. That's fine. I'll keep it at that. And here's the river. 
Now prepare to see zero frames per second as water physics take effect. I believe this is the Havoc physics engine. And the question I have is, if the Havoc physics engine can do this, why don't more games have freaking physics like this? Look, I mean, look at the water physics. It's brilliant. It's just shit damn brilliant. Oh. You know, look at that. Wow. Why don't, why don't more games that use the Havoc physics engine have this kind of graphical and physic physics fidelity stuff? Yeah, um, I don't know. But why can't they have some? I want this. Okay, I'm going to turn off the vlog and all-wheel drive. Whoa. Just to make this slightly easier, I'll turn them back on if I fall into the mud. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm failing. Okay, I'm turning those things back on. Up and at em. Ah, there we go. Come on, push it. Push it. He didn't push it. Okay, come on, shift up. Push it. Push it to the limit. Lim oh, I'm singing somebody's song. Okay, so that path is a total no-go. We'll go next to it on the grass. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the grass is muddy as well. And I've completely gotten myself stuck in it. Well, I guess that's a failed challenge right there. I'm just digging myself deeper and deeper. Okay, so let's repeat, but with the big truck. I'm sure it won't have any trouble. Here we go. Turn off all the amazing features. I mean, on. Oh, look at that, look at that. Look at that. It's brilliant. Oh, yes. That's totally what trucks do. I think it's gotten most of its physics effects pretty much damn straight on. Oh. I mean, the particles could do some work, but that's probably because my settings aren't very high. So that I can actually get enough frames to record this. <laughs> yeah, um, okay, so we're going to drive on. Let's see if we can beat my previous record of the car of getting stuck into the mud and not moving further. Yeah, that's my previous record. <laughs> oh, the truck doesn't have much problems with mud, but I suspect it might have some trouble being a submarine. Let's see if it has problems with being a submarine. Can you oh, there we go. The camera is nice now. Oh, it's a pretty great submarine, actually. I think you can go deep sea diving with this thing. <laughs> okay, now my wheels are wet, so everything's going to be super slippery. Oh, look at the water falling up from them. They're nice and... Whoa, what? No, oh. Protect the rainforest. Do not drive trucks for trees. See, bye. Shady car. Damn. Oh, don't tell me this thing is going to get stuck as well. Oh, 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 thank goodness. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, let's go. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, yes. And we're off. I think we're going to take a left up front somewhere. Oh, oh. I actually like how this game lags because, okay, my PC sucks, so it lags. But I like why it, how it lags. It seems so elegant. It seems like it's in slow motion, not really lagging. That's brilliant. I don't know how they did that. Or it might just be my vibrant imagination. Anyway, I'm driving through the mud. Um, my truck is showing off its mud digging capabilities. And we're up. Oh, don't, no, don't fall into the mud, please. Oh please no, oh thank goodness. I thought for sure I was stuck over there. Okay. Okay. Okay, um... 
Yeah, I might be getting stuck. Look, I'm totally decimating the road. That's for sure. And I'm going up. 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 And into a tree. Um. Yeah. This is why rainforests are dying. Because I'm allowed to drive a truck through them. And we're out on the... On, on this road. Okay. Let's get going. Back to the start position and then I can say I won. Sort of. After I lost. And then try it again. Oh, don't tell me. No. Oh, thank goodness. This truck doesn't really get stuck, does it? But it does make crater the size of Mars. Of Mars? Yeah, don't take my jokes up. They're crappy. Okay. So, from me, after decimating a road, and then making a crater-sized hole in the ground, and now I'm going to drive into some trees. This is me. This is fire saying good night.